everyone welcome back again to my two channel and if you are new on my channel thank you very much for stopping by please click on the subscription button and turn on your notification bell so you are the first to know if i post another video like this and for already existing members thank you very much for sticking around with me and i hope to see you in my next video so today i'll be putting us on how i made this gown this twisted fitted gown all right so let's just get right into the video so the first thing we'll be doing is to go ahead and cut out our back piece we'll be cutting out our back piece first so for my half length at the back it's my half length at the back is 15 all right so i'm going to go ahead and mark a 15 and a half all right plus the sewing allowance so that's all i'll be doing here and i'm just going to go ahead and draw this on a straight line so from there i'm going to go ahead and get our zipper allowance which is one inch i'm going to be giving this a one inch also and i'm just going to go ahead and also connect that on a straight line so after i was done doing this i'm going to go ahead and get our shoulder right from where we got our zipper allowance all right so just look at my tape very well i'll be placing my tape where my zipper allowance stopped so my shoulder measurement is 7.5 but i'll be giving this an 8 inches plus sewing allowance all right so from there i'm going to go ahead and get our neck which i gave a three inches wide and i came down by a one and a half inches for the neck depth so i'm just going to go ahead and just connect draw a straight line like a four corner line for i'm going to go ahead and give this a very nice cuff all right all right so if you can actually draw get your round neck without drawing this in um, four corners so you can go ahead and also just do that so this is just like the normal basic bodies all right i have i have a video on how to draft a normal basic body so you can go ahead and just watch i'm going to tag the link below so i'll be going down for my shoulder by a one inch for the shoulder slope and i'm just going to go ahead and connect this line to the neck all right so from there i'm going to go ahead and get our ammo point which i'll be making a seven i'm making my ammo for this gown a seven because this is an harmless gown so i'm just going to go ahead and mark the seven and i'm going to go ahead and just draw this on a straight line so i'm going to go ahead and get the midpoint of our ammo all right but first we'll be getting our bust measurements which is 36 divided by 4 which gave me 9 and i'm just going to go ahead and make mark a 9 then i'll be going in by an extra one and a half inches for sewing allowance okay so for this back piece i was going to get the midpoint for our hammer all right so but i ended up not doing this because this is going to be an harmless gown but if you still want to do this you can go ahead and get your midpoint but i didn't do this for the back piece okay so i just went ahead and just coughing our our ammo so you can go up you can go up from your ammo point by two inches just like i'm doing here before you go ahead and just cough it in you can just cough it in to where the two inches stopped so that is all for this back and i'm going to go ahead and get a waist measurement which is 30 29 all right i'm going to be dividing that by four which gave me seven and quarter and i'm going to just mark that and go in by an extra one and a half inches for sewing allowance so i'll be making this like an english gown so there was no need for me to impute the dart i didn't forget the dart this gown will not be having a dart so i'm just going to go ahead and connect the lines together all right then i'm going to just go ahead and cut out this piece so that is all for the back measurements so after i was done cutting out the back i'm just going to go ahead and and cuff in our zipper allowance by half an inch or quarter of an inch just to prevent any bulging at the back all right so i'll just be using my 
my scissors to slant this in you can go ahead and just and just remove a half inch or a quarter of an inch all right so i just went in i just slanted in my scissors like this just like i'm doing here because i didn't i didn't need to measure mine so i just went ahead and slanted this in all right so that is all for the cutting of the back so for the front we'll be folding our paper into two because we are going to be getting our full body measurement on the paper all right so i'll be going in first with our shoulder measurement which i gave eight just like i did at the back all right so from there i'll be coming i'll be go ahead and get our neck measurements which i gave three inches three inches wide and i'll be coming down by two and a half inches for the neck depth all right so i'm just going to go ahead and cough that in also So you can just go ahead and cuff in your neck if you don't need to draw a triangle, all right? So I'm just going to go ahead right now and give this a very nice cuff, just like I'm doing in this video. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and get our shoulder slope right from where I, we got our shoulder measurement. I'll be coming down by a one inch. So this is just like the regular basic body. So you can just go ahead and draft yourself anyhow you know how to draft it so i'll just connect that line and i'm going to be coming down from there by a seven inches all right for our ammo point and i'm also going to connect that line then i'm going to just go ahead and get our full half length for the front so our half length for the front is 17 inches all right so i'm just going to go ahead and draw that on a straight line and just connect all the lines together so for the ammo at the front we are going to be getting the midpoint okay we'll be getting the midpoint for our ammo at the front all right so i'm just going to go ahead and get our bust measurement first which is 36 divided by four which gave me nine and i'm going to be going in by an extra one and a half inches for sewing allowance so i'm going to go ahead and get our midpoint right now then I'll be coming in for my midpoint by half an inch. Then I'm just going to go ahead and connect that line. So for this part, I'll be using my free hand. Like I said, I'm, I'm very comfortable using my free hand. But if you have your coffee ruler, you can go ahead and use your coffee ruler. So that is all for the ammo. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get our waist measurement, which is 29 divided by 4, which gave me 7 and quarter. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and add the one and a half inches allowance as usual. Then I'm just going to go ahead and connect the lines together. So that is all for the drafting of the front. So I'm going to go ahead right now and just cut this out. So for the front, for the back measurement, for the back half length, we noticed that I used 15 inches. 15 inches is for the back half half length and the front is 17. So I'll be taking away 2 inches from the front so it can be equal with the one, our half length for the back. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove 2 inches from the front pattern. Then I'll be giving this an extra half inch before I go ahead and just cut this out. For sewing allowance so that is all so i'll just go ahead and just cut out this side so right now i'll be extending this line to the other side all right so i'm going to just go ahead and open this up so from our neckline i'll be coming down by four inches all right at the middle point at the middle point that's why i folded the paper into two so we can get our middle point so i'll go ahead and just cough and come down i'm going to come down to the hand side of this half length and i'll be coming up by two inches all right you'll be starting the two inches from the actual measurement the actual 15 not the 15 and a half so i'll just go ahead and connect from the neck to the four in the middle first 
all right then i'm just going to go ahead and connect it to the two inches below so after i was done doing this i'm just going to go ahead right now and cut out these parts so please i hope you understand how we got to this point you connect from your neck to the four in the middle and then you connect to the two inches below so i'll just go ahead right now and cut out this piece so that is all for the front and this is all what we'll be needing for cutting our front piece so i'm going to go ahead right now and fold my fabric into four so this is going to be for the skirt side of our gown so if you know how to draft out a basic skirt just go ahead and just do this all right so i'll be folding my fabric into four because i'll like I, I always like to cut my piece together so i'm just going to go ahead and get my length so i went i went ahead to minus a 15 and i went down by a 40 and half 39 and a half is the actual measurement but i'll be giving this an extra one and a half inches for sewing allowance and folding in all right so i'm just going to go ahead and draw that on a straight line then i'm going to go ahead and get a waist measurement which is 29 divided by four and i went in by an extra one and a half inches for sewing allowance like i said this guy will not be having a dart all right so i'll be coming down from that side by eight inches all right just like i'm doing in this video and that is where we'll be getting our hip measurement my hip measurement is 42 all right so i'll be dividing that by four and i'm going to go ahead and mark that then i'll be going in by an extra one and a half inches for sewing allowance also so for the hem side for the downside of our dress i'll be minusing a two inches for my hip measurement all right so i'll be dividing that by four so which is going to give me 10 40 divided by four which gave me 10 and i went in by an extra one and a half inches for sewing allowance and i just went ahead to connect these lines together so after i was done doing this i'm just going to go ahead and cut out this piece with a one inch zipper allowance all right and that is all for this part so for our front the upper side of our front piece I went ahead to fold my fabric into two so you will need to fold your fabric into two for you to cut out this front piece because we are going to be needing the two side all right so i just went ahead and folded my fabric into two and i went ahead to cut this out so for the back i'm going to go ahead and also fold my fabric into two all right then i'm just going to pin this round then i'm going to cut this out so guys i forgot to add that i had this material at home before it, it was not up to two years all right so you can go ahead and just get a two years material for your fabric and then for the lining also so i'm just going to go ahead and cut out the facing for this okay so i'll be folding our lining into two and i'm just going to go ahead and cut out for the skirt side of our gown and after i was done cutting the lining i'm going to go ahead and place the piece together then i'll be moving a one inches from the actual length from the length of the material this is going to be for our folding in then i'm going to go ahead and cut out the linings for the other piece also folding into two don't forget guys so the first thing we'll be doing right now is the back our back piece okay so i'm just going to go ahead and use our lining to turn turn the neck okay we'll be turning over the neck we'll be closing up the neck and our zipper allowance and the side all right we'll be closing up the allowance okay so just go ahead just go ahead and pin this very well before you head over to your machine to sew we'll be closing up the neck the zipper allowance and the side so as you can see i've gone ahead to close up our zipper allowance our side allowance and i turned this from the ham o and i held the downside so this is our front piece so for our front piece we'll be closing up all sides all right we'll be closing up all sides for our front piece front piece 
So I'll just head over to my machine and close all side for our front piece aside from the arm O. We will not be closing up the arm O because that's where we are going to be turning this out from. Alright, so just head over to your machine and sew just like I'm directing in this video. Okay. So I'm going to be doing that for the two piece, the two side, because I folded my fabric into two. And I'm just going to come back and show us how that came out. So right now I'm done folding this. And as you can see, I folded all side of this front piece aside from the ammo. Okay. And I folded the two sides. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring in our skirt side. So for our front piece, the skirt side of our front piece, we'll be closing up the upper side. All right. I'll be closing up the zipper allowance also and the downside. So from the downside, I'm going to be leaving a little bit of an opening. And that is where we're going to be turning this out from. So if, for those that don't understand, I'm going to be using our back piece to illustrate how I'll be closing this up. Okay. So let's just go ahead and bring in our back piece. So right now we are going to, I'm going to be closing up the downside first. And after I'm done closing the downside, I'm going to top stitch on that also. Then I'm going to be moving the line up to the length of, to the actual length of my fabric. Okay. So let's just go ahead and close up the downside first so you can understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'll be heading over to my machine right now to close up the downside and I'm going to come back and show us what next to do. So as you can see, I've gone ahead to close up the downside of this piece. So I'm just going to go ahead and join this together. Okay, I'm going to be joining our fabric and our lining together so it can be equal. And I'm just going to head over to my machine and close up the zipper allowance. Still the wrong side. I'm still on the wrong side if you notice. So I'm going to go ahead and close up our zipper allowance and our side allowance. And I'm going to come back and show us how that came out. So this is how it came out after I was done. And I closed up the side as you can see and our zipper allowance. And if you can see the hem side of our gown. It came up a little bit okay then i'm going to head over to my machine and close the upper side up and i'm going to be using the same way to close up our other piece okay so right now i'm done closing up all sides of our skirt and as you can see i closed up the side allowance and the zipper allowance also and then for the front, for the front, I went, I closed up the upper side. Okay. For the front, I closed up the upper side, just like you're saying. And I left a little bit of an opening by the side to turn this over. I also went ahead to close up the side also. Okay. And that is all for the skirt side. So I'm going to keep that aside and bring in our front piece. So for our front piece, I'll be folding this into two like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and pin this. So just go ahead and fold just into two, just like I'm doing in this video. And pin it, all right? So right now I'm done pinning. And from the this side, I'll be coming in by a half inch, okay? I'll just go ahead and mark a half inch over there, okay? Just like I'm doing here. And I'll be coming over here also, and I'll be measuring under half inch, this is going to be for our sewing, our closing up. And so I'm going to head over to my machine and close this up. And I'm going to be stopping at that half inch, which I marked. Okay, so just go ahead and do just like this. Right now, I'm done closing up that side. And I did not, I did not close this to the ending. I stopped at the half inch. So from that place which I left open, I'm going to go ahead and pass this in all right so this was a little bit difficult for me to pass in because the o was too tiny so you can go ahead and just make this half inch and quarter all right so uh, this is it when i was done and i'm just going to go ahead and draw this out well so just go ahead and draw this out very well just like i'm doing in this video and i'm just going to draw this till it gets equal with 
the other part all right so i hope you understand how we got to this point if you don't understand just follow all i'll be doing in this video so i'm going to pin this and i'm going to just go ahead and sew this to the extreme end okay so i'll be sewing this to the extreme end so just go ahead and pin crochet before you go ahead to sew with half inch so right now i'm done sewing and this is how it came out okay and that is all for this side okay and you can see how this came out so i'm going to be ironing this you can just go ahead and iron your neck so it can stay perfectly well so that is all right now i'm going to go ahead and bring in the sketch side of our front for our front piece okay so i'll be painting this i will not be sewing this so just watch what i'm doing right now i'll just go ahead and pin this so just go ahead and place your front piece on your sketch side all right and come just be placing this by one inch on top of each other okay be placing this by one inch on top of each other i just hope you understand what i just said place your upper piece on your sketch side with a one inch on top of each other okay so that is all and for ignore the folding in the middle okay because that is where that is the actual style and that is actually where it's going to be showing the opening okay so i'm just going to go ahead and paint this properly one inch placing on top of each other okay so after i'm done doing that i'll just go ahead and set this aside so i'll be pinning this so it can be equal with the our length for the back and that is all for this front piece okay so i'm going to go ahead and bring in our back piece so for our back piece i'm just going to go ahead and sew and sew and join the both of them together and i'm going to come back and show us how that came out all right so this is how it when i was done joining the back piece together and i'll be coming on for the from the hem side of our dress by nine inches all right that's going to be for our slit okay and i'm going to just go ahead and just draw draw it mark that on a straight line okay and from that place i'm going to just go ahead and come up by a five inches or you can go ahead and measure from the beginning of your your back piece where you want your zip to stop so just go ahead and mark where you want your zipper to stop and i'm going to just go ahead and close this and add my zip all right so right now i've gone ahead to close this and i've added my zipper like as you can see and for the front piece uh, if you can if you notice i've not still joined this i just used a pin to hold this down so i'm just going to go ahead and join our shoulder just like i'll be directing in this video so just go ahead and join your shoulder like i'll be directing in this video open one piece of your open one of your piece either the back or the front piece and place one in the middle and just go ahead and be closing this up just like i'm doing here all right and i'm just going to go ahead and sew this and also hold our body measurements okay so i'll just be doing all that at once because the video was getting a bit too long so i'll be closing our shoulder and holding the side so right now this is it and i've gone ahead to join our shoulder and also hold my body measurements and i'm just going to go ahead and cuff shape our ammo a little bit and tape this because this is unharmless you can go ahead and use a bias for this or your actual fabric and that is all for this video thank you very much for sticking to this far and this is me after i was done and that kiss is for you guys that stayed and watched to the ending all right please ignore the filter i'm such a snapchat girl thank you very much for watching to the end please click on the subscription button and make sure you turn on your notification bell so you are the first to know if i post another video thank you see you next time